Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag Marvelous Monday. That's what I call it. I don't know if there's even a group like that, but I put my tags under there and you can find me that way a lot of times. I do have a couple of things I want to show you today. You know, my son, actually both my sons, have always done sound and, you know, been part of the, you know, they did sound in church and, and they're just all so interested in the sound and especially Gordon, maybe a little bit more than Josh, but um, he's always said, mom, you need to use a microphone. Well, I'm, you guys, nobody ever says anything that they can't hear me. So I'm thinking, oh, it's okay. I don't need a mic unless you get far away. Well, he knew I needed one, so actually he bought me two, and I gave him, I'm going to give him the other one back if he wants it to, I don't know, send it back or whatever, but he ordered me another one, and I got it uh, yesterday, and uh, it was very, he had already uh, plugged it up, and it was on Amazon, and I think it's about $20, so it's not to break the bank, and let me show you what I got. And I was able to, I went on and I was able to hook it up myself, which is very simple. There's no hooking up. Right here is one of the mic, the lapel mics. There's two. They have some little fuzzy little balls on it, different ones. And they have even magnets to, in case your anything rattles that uh, it would keep it from rattling. And so what I tried, first off, I put it on and I walked into my bedroom and that's the furthest away from the house. And I kept talking and it was clear. I thought, yay, this is awesome. And then I went into my other bedroom and it's still clear. I could hear myself really clear. So I thought, well, maybe there is something to this. So you might, if you, if anybody tells you, you cannot, they can't hear you. You might get this and just use it. I mean, I've had, this is actually my third one that I've had. I bought one myself. And all of them might have been okay, but I think this is going to be, like I said, it was Amazon, I think he said, for $20. While I'm at it, I want to tell you that I want to make a correction. I told you that I got these from uh, Timu, and then I said Amazon. And then I was watching my little video back and these, and I will be showing these later. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.24. All the fruits on it. So. And you'll see me dressed like I am because today you know, um, I did a live, an impromptu one. If you start to watch it, skip two minutes and 14, 15 seconds. And then you'll see me upright. I wanted to do it horizontal. And it said I could. And then when I got to that one point, it wouldn't let me turn it. So I kept going back and forth. So it would have made you dizzy. So just skip past it. I have a little short video. You know, I mentioned that my grandson-in-law got baptized. It was at a private home out in the country and it was just i mean it's huge property i think they must own prunefields or something like that and oh it was just gorgeous going out there they had their own man-made lake and i just scanned through it where you could see it was an exciting day you know not just people getting baptized they made it a picnic hot dog thing it's a church my my kids go to and it's a wonderful church I thought I would go ahead and we're still on our presidents. We are on president number 20. That's James A. Garfield. Okay, did you know Garfield was the first left-handed president? That's interesting. You know, you know, my son is left-handed, Gordon. And then I have my, my daughter, Gail, has a, Two of her grandchildren are left-handed. So that's interesting to me. And Barbara, my sister, was left-handed. Then my husband's sister was left-handed. So do you have any left-handed people? 
I always felt like they could get more done if they're left-handed because, you know, seems so many things are for, made for a right-handed society. James A. Garfield was the 20th president. He was born November 19th, 1831 in Ohio. He served 1881 and the vice president was Chester A. Arthur. And he died in 1881. Now, you know, with this hearing things on with my new microphone, a car went by. I'm just going to be interested when I hear that back, see how, if you can hear that car as much as before. James A. Garfield was a smart man who, who spoke Latin and Greek. He also could write with both hands. Okay, that's kind of what I just talked about. Sometimes he showed off by writing Latin with one hand and Greek with the other. Oh, wow. Garfield believed in education for all children. He also believed in civil rights. As president, he appointed a former slave, Frederick Douglass, to an important government job. Garfield was president for less than a year. In those days, political jobs usually went to people who voted for the president instead of the people who were best qualified. Garfield wanted to change that. That makes sense. Not everyone agreed. An angry job seeker shot the president who died a few months later. James A. Garfield was shot and killed. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's a little picture down here. Garfield's mother lived in the White House with Garfield. His wife and their five children, that's four boys and one girl ages nine through 19. And that's our story about James A. Garfield. Stay tuned for my little short video. As I'm walking to my car, I see all these horses. I thought, oh, I should be videoing them. Let me get them a little closer. There you are. Look at the horses. Yeah. What are they? Five. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that. Tomorrow is hashtag Tea Tuesday. And this one is going to be really special. I went to the home of 
Martha Makes Art. You can watch her channel. And she showed us how she has her whole setup for a video in. And we saw her all of her beautiful artwork and just got a feel of how she does her videos. I thought that is really interesting. And I hope you enjoy it. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel or interested in it's still fun to hear how she got started and her beautiful pictures that she's painted and drawn. She's very talented. Later in the week, I've got so many new things to show you this week. I'm excited about so many of them. And please go back if you haven't watched the ones that I've already posted. And I really appreciate it. I thank you so much for coming along with me. I pray God will just bless you today. I pray he will let his light of love shine in your heart. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I pray God blesses you. Keep smiling, you guys.